Alright, so we've been seeing a lot more of these lately. They are the S8 Plus, which then look like there are schematics for it in ZXW tools. I'm just making sure my mic is on. Okay, it's on. Um, so we've been seeing no display, just black display on iPhone S8 Plus, and I think some of the 7s. And it looks like the problem is this Max 77838 chip here. Um, which I believe is the display I see, and it seems like it is this, these three pins right here that are shorted, or I'm not really sure to be honest with you, uh, low resistance to the ground for sure, um, but as you can see this connects to this, to this point right here on this chip, so this is the chip that we're going to, we're going to replace and hopefully it'll fix things, which it has fixed in the past, so we're hoping that this will work as well on this one, so we'll see. So I don't know what just happened there, but oh, my thing just kind of went down. Alright, so I guess, uh, let's see, display connector is here, max chip is here, so you don't want to remove this um, shield, you want to remove the bigger shield. Um, And let's see if I can get a picture of the max of where it says max. There you go, right there. You see that? Max seven seven eight three eight. All right. So stock up on a few of those. I think that'll help you. So let's see. I've got capped on tape on it, um, but let's see. So I guess you can diode mode. You can diode mode those three pins or even this little, but easiest thing is just diode mode those, those, those three pins so you have to remove the display uh, so that you don't have to remove anything before you uh, do this repair, you know. Since this is an S8 and I don't know what the hell, uh, I don't know what else how, how I can mess up. I'm just going to be pretty careful here. I'm going to cap on it, put some, I like to use this little thing here. Um, it's a little shield and then put a penny on top of that so that usually does a pretty good job of everything This might require a little bit of higher heat, maybe. I'm just going to hold my tip a little closer because it's not really budging right now. It's probably been about a minute already. So I'm going to turn it up to 416. And then I'm actually going to put a little flux on it. It is still not budging. Maybe a little bit now. Well, not quite. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to turn it up. Well, now it's going. 
There you go. Slow melt. It's budging a little bit. There you go. Break. Okay, there you go. There, it took a little while. Um, okay, so let's just clean this up. and uh, I mean, just not a whole lot to it. Well, that was not intentional. Well, let me remove this little short here. Okay. That looks pretty good. Okay, so let me get my new chip out and then... Uh, okay, so not a whole lot to it, just a standard chip repair here. And I am using the new VS213, it's not really new, I think it's newer, but I don't think it's new, uh, VS213A Tacky Flux. I find it's a million times easier to clean up than the NC559, which is a little bit outdated. So, I'd recommend switching over. And we might be the only ones that are snow. I think there are a few sites that sell it, but okay. Hold on a second. Let's see. All right. Sorry, I'm doing about ten things at once here, but so get the chip aligned, and then all you really have to do is heat it, just to hold, kind of hold it, and then. I only have two of these chips, so. Uh, I'm having a tough time here. It looks like maybe some of the balls are uneven below it, so I'm trying to hold it. There you go. Yeah, that looks like it's pretty good. Okay, now it's kind of held in place by a ball or two, whatever. Now I'm just going to heat the hell out of it. And then wait for it to wiggle, and then kind of tug it, push it a little bit. Just make sure it's... I'm just going to add a little more flux. I find that the Samsungs take a little more heat to melt the solder for some reason. So I'm at 416, airflow of 17, and I'm pulling tip pretty close, so it's taking a little. There you go, I see it melting now. So, but, well, 
should probably increase it just a little more because this is like barely melting here All right, I think that's good now. I'm going to fix the other stuff up later. But tight quarters. Careful because everything's really hot still. But I need to fix that right there because it's bridged. And just wait for it to cool down just a little bit before you start lifting stuff. Otherwise, you might start lifting chips. Okay, so that's okay. Um. So let's just see if we can fix this quickly, maybe. Or maybe not. Oh no, this thing's disintegrated. Dang it. it. Sucks. Well, I hope it still works. Uh, that's not good. Because I don't know what kind of quill that is. Let me just make sure that this is not supposed to be connected, or maybe it is supposed to be connected. Okay, so that's not shorted, so, and then, let's see, and there's continuity across that coil, so, just be careful with that. Right, so we're back in business here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just measure this right here because that was, I was getting like 0.4 before. Now I'm getting about the same thing. Uh, but anyway, so I, maybe that wasn't the pin that was messed up. So I don't know. Actually, this is not even the same. This is S8. Okay, that's what it is. So I think it was actually this one that's... I should probably check. I remember I looked it up already. You know what? Let's just go directly to the connector. So it was these three pins that. So if you count over from the bottom right, one, two, three, four, and then five. See, I was getting point zero zero four before. Now I'm getting point five nine zero. So. So hopefully that fixed it. I think, I mean, I'm definitely getting a different diode mode reading now, and I think that's the, that's the pin that's messed up. I don't know why it's messed up there, but that seems to be the common problem. I'd like to say I found it, but it was really Sanjeev <laughs> who discovered it. But I'm just going to take credit. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so, anyways, um, let me reassemble this thing and then I'll test it on on here. Okay, so plug it in and it wasn't really doing this before, but now you can see like a little bit of an icon. Uh, can you see it or no? No, shining light. You see the little? There you go. You see a little lightning bolt. So it wasn't doing that before. So. Uh, I'm assuming that once this charges up, it's probably going to work again. So I think we're back in business here. Um, anyways, display IC Max 77838. Um, we're probably going to start selling these chips on our site um, soon. So S8 Plus no display. Uh, that's how you fix it. I just wanted to say thanks for watching our videos on YouTube.com. If you are interested in learning more about how to repair these things um, and all the tools you need to, to repair them, um, I would recommend going to microsoldering.com. That's our website. And clicking on store. And we have a course, online course out there. It's about three and a half hours long. And it, it, go, it starts from the basics all the way to data recovery. Um, I want to stress that this is really a basic course and it's not for people that have been doing this for a long time. Um, the course costs $99.99. Um, it's hosted at udemy.com and just go to the best thing to do is just go to our, go to our store and click on this link because you'll get 50 bucks off.
um, versus if you just do it through Google. The second thing I want to talk about is we do have an online forum now. It's free. Uh, just go there and post your questions. So if you have a question about this video, please go to this forum and post here. I'm not going to be answering any more questions on YouTube. Um, because, yeah, because I think this is going to be centralized. So just go here and then if you have any questions about tools and equipment, you can look look at all the different packages here and and uh, basically everything that I get asked all the time. Um, you, can, you can go here and find out what I use and where to get all the parts and supplies and stuff like that. And if you feel like you don't want to do it and you want to send us your phone for a pair, then just click on request a quote and fill out the form at the bottom of the page. Thanks for watching and take care.